We want to be able to command robots using natural language instructions. Robots can plan and act in the world using 3D scene graphs that consist of a mesh layer, an objects layer, a traversable places layer, and a room or region layer. We need a system that can ground language into this robot representation, both for helping a user understand the robot's model of the world and for translating instructions. We encode the graph into a database and use a large language model with graph-based retrieval augmented generation to get scene data for a user's question, update, or instruction. We provide the graph ontology and a cipher-based query interface along with the user's input and prompt the LLM to generate database queries to retrieve the relevant data. Given the database response, the LLM responds to the user with either an answer to a question or a PDDL goal that encodes the user's instruction. As shown in the top left table, this approach uses far fewer input tokens than a baseline method. Per the bottom table, we can scale to large, rich scene graphs. We will now demo our system for answering questions, updating the graph, and commanding a robot to retrieve a bag we want. To understand what the robot knows about, we ask about the kinds of objects that are in the scene graph. The LLM generates a cipher query to return each distinct object class from the database. Given the response, it answers us with a list. We ask a follow-up question, how many of each kind? The LLM generates a cipher query to return the counts for each kind of object. Given the response, it generates us a nice histogram. We notice a bicycle is present in the scene graph, but there isn't one in the real world. It should be a bag in the far hallway. We tell the system to change the bicycle to a bag, and the LLM generates a cipher query to update the scene graph. Shown below, you can see a close-up of the bicycle and watch the label change to a bag. The database response is empty in this case, but the graph is updated. With this change, we tell the system to pick up the bag in the hall and put it in the same place as the other bag. The LLM generates a cipher query to get the ID of the other bag and the ID of the place that it is in. Given the database response, it generates a PDDL goal object in place to have the bag in that place. The top left is the robot in the real world, and the bottom left is a visualization showing the robot in the 3D scene graph. The bottom right shows a top-down view of the planner's generated path through the places layer. The robot reaches the bag to pick up, and we highlight the associated object in the scene graph. After picking up the bag, the robot returns to the other bag and places the retrieved bag down. Thank you for watching.